Hey guys, this is Malanda. We are back with To The Moon, and we are heading off into the clock. Psst, look. I know I can't believe he once paid to see this crap in the theater. No, you idiot. Look, we leaped. Oh. Oh. Holy overcooked macaronis. The kid's in the theater all by himself. What a loser. You go to the theater by yourself all the time. That's different. No one's competent enough to match my taste. But that aside, how could anyone go through this rubbish? Aww. <laughs> so much leg space, I like that. And thus, this movie sucks on both physical and metaphysical level. QED. Come on, let's go. What? Oh, right. Aw, he's so alone. Whoa, wait. I ain't talking to no emo teenager. Grammar, my dear, Watson. <laughs> Shut up, that's not even a full sentence. Let's just go for uh, mementos. Alright. I ain't still no talk. <laughs> I still ain't no talk. What? I still ain't talking to no emo teenager. Let's check on the bathrooms. Because it's important. They are... These guys are disappearing. What are you doing? That's the third person you've removed here. Eh, it's not like it's permanent. Oh, wow. Who am I... Yeah, this is this is getting awesome. Yeah, let's kill, kill everyone. <gasps> you know that poking them out of the way like that does nothing, right? Then why complain? <laughs> I'm just having fun here. Where will this guy? Oh, he, he's gone too. And you. And you. Watch behind your back and you. Surprise. Hey. Getting stood up. Now that's the Kodak moment. You relate well with your kin, I see. Hey, I want to construct him with a... Uh, what? Hey, I want to construct him a lady friend. Can we construct a lady friend for him, Eva? No! Aww. That, that would be fun. <laughs> we just... Oh, look! This place is all empty and creepy now. I hope you're happy. I am. I actually am. Now, this is a special guy. Hey, Joe, quit wasting time and leave him alone. Why? Why? You can take a look at donuts. I want to... Well, it's not technically killing, but I want to get those people inside. <laughs> can I Can I get them? No. Okay. Maybe I have to clear the people in the cinema. Well, there's nothing here. Hate to say this, but I guess I have to nag something out of him again. All yours. At least, there's no olive this time. River. 
Hey, hey, you were in there this whole time. I, I waited for you at the lobby. I thought I thought you didn't come. I, why did you leave? I thought we were watching the movie together. Huh? I, I'm the one who asked. Huh? I'm the one who should ask that. W what do you mean? We were watching the movie together and then you left. We, we weren't watching it together. I didn't know you were there. If you saw me in there, why didn't you come find me? What difference does it make? We were watching the same movie in the same room. <laughs> she has a point. <laughs> yes, lol. What's wrong? You're so weird. Ah, uh, do you not want to watch the movie together anymore? Of course I do. Come, let's head back in before it ends. <laughs> oh. I feel like I should make a clever remark. You feel wrong. Well, let's hope our ride's waiting for us in there. Okay. Does this guy want to talk? Hey, Joe! <clears throat> okay. Alright. It's still creepy down there. I cleared everybody for no reason. Let's go in. Alright. Excuse me, guys. Excuse me. We got another platypus? This guy is like everywhere. You know, I kind of want to see if I can talk to them. No, okay. Just to make sure. Alright. Now. Let's do this. Yes, when in doubt, do that. Let's go! You know, I think this planet plus is growing on me. Mostly just for convenience, but hey! Dude, grow some balls. Uh. Oh, ho, ho. It's not that. Look, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Oh, jeez, what should, what could possibly happen? Just think about it. Worst case scenario, she says no. You stretch on like nothing happened. No one will ever know, and everyone still think you're cool. But what if she tells someone or yells at me? Don't be such a wuss! Or, or say yes but really means no. Oh, quit worrying. Who would do that? And what if she throws an encyclopedia in my face? I don't even have a helmet. Dear lord, I'm so not prepared for this. Dude, don't panic. Just straighten your spine and quit being a wuss. Yeah, you tell him. Everything will be alright. Just turn around. Okay. Okay. Hey, 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 what are you? Shh! <gasps> um. Hey, hello. Uh, hello? C can you hear me? Yes. Then why did you. Never mind. Um, that's a cool platypus you got there. What are you reading? A book? About platypus? And person who clothes. No. I, uh, I think that's great! <laughs> hey, you want lighthouses? Uh-huh. 
There are exactly 16 second order Frenzel Lens lighthouses in the country left. Nine of them were close, co nine of them were coastal, and one of them was modified from a historic kerosene lamp lighthouse. Oh, is that what you're reading about? Um, say, you wanna go catch a movie sometime? I... I don't know. Uh, that's okay. I'll give you time to consider it. I... I can't. Why? There's no date or time. Oh, um, uh, how about this Saturday at 8? <laughs> well? Eva, I think the system froze. Yes! Oh, great. Never mind. I guess we'll work out the details later. Um, I'll just... <laughs> wow, they have known each other for forever. What? What are you looking at me for? You think I'm going to call out how utterly awkward that was? <laughs> well, just forget it. I'm not giving in to your expectations. Give him a break. He's still just a kid. You of all people should relate. Oh, snap. What is that supposed to mean? Shut up and go. Shut up isn't my name, you know? Well, I suppose if you look at it from a right angle... No, not really. Never mind. What the heck were you doing in there, dude? W what? I asked her out. No, that was pathetic. If I were you, I would just barge in there and I'll be like... Hey, you! Go out with me now! That's just terrible. I know, and what I was still... <laughs> I know, and it would still have been better than what you just did. So, did she throw an encyclopedia in your face, huh? Did she? Shut up, dude. See, I'm not the only one who tells people to shut up. And suddenly, I feel loved. <laughs> oh, we got a candy. Is this candy? I would like some candy. No? Who are you? Dear Lord, I can't believe you got me... Dear Lord, I can't believe you got me to take the stupid class. Aw, oh, come on, it's fun. Only if you can paint. You get good if you practice, you know? Yeah, right, after this class, I'm never picking up a brush again. I like that face. <laughs> oh, quit complaining. I'm sure you'll learn to enjoy it someday. Well, let's check out this floor before we head on to the- Oh, anyone? Anyone at all? <laughs> Alright then. River, why don't you answer it? I know you know the answer. We're waiting, River. Oh, so much pressure. Fine, I guess we'll just have to- he made a sale on August 3rd of 19, oh, 14, whoa, wow, of 1492 from the Spanish city of Palo de la Frontier. Of the city of Palo de la Frontera, which was found in 1322 and granted to Olivier Perez de Gunsmon, who was in the mere age of 14 by the, okay, okay, I only asked for the date. Let's see. Was that so hard? It probably was for her.
Good lord, does everyone with her condition have near photographic memory? Not really, though I think their uh, road to memory is often fairly strong. That is actually pretty neat. The memory thing, I mean. My memory is... yeah. What memory? <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. We need two more. Okay, check out this room. What do we have here? Psst, she's coming this way! Alt tab, alt tab! <laughs> I like that. Oh, alt tab! Lifesaver! Yes, it is. Alt tab is the lifesaver. Psst, she's coming this way! Alt F4, alt F4! <laughs> Psst, she's coming this way! Alt tab! Unlocked. Uh, only open during lunch hours. All right, let's go here. Oh, that's a wrap. You chumps better be um better next time. An atrium. We could use this place later. I just can't believe that these court lines are rectangular in his head. That's a that's a <laughs> that's a good point. That is a good point. Oh, hey guys. Ah, fine, you win. Booyah! Do I have anything else in here? Oh, oh, a piano. Interesting. Cool. This is a very, very neat piano. But it does nothing. What about the mats? Nope. Broom. Basketball. I am missing something. Cafeteria time. Let's go. Food time. We have another bag here. Yeah, she's unique, but she's uniquely boring. I mean, just look at her. She just sits there all by herself all day with that creepy deformed duck toy. That's not a deformed duck toy. That's a platypus. What the heck is platypus? Quit making up words. Anyway, she's just so off, you know? It's like she's from a totally different planet or something. I know, isn't that cool? Ah, uh, if you're into aliens and that sort of stuff, I guess. But really, if you want to be weird, why don't you just go hang out with emos and goths? Well, for one, I don't want to ruin my hair. The fact that we got a name for them says a lot. Look, Nick. I just... I just don't want to be another typical kid in the sea of typical people. But how the heck would be with her change your own identity? I mean, you'd be just some guy who hangs up with a shy girl. She's not just shy, Nick. There's something strange about her. Being strange isn't always a good thing, you know? Do you even know if she wants to be different? Maybe she just wants to fit in like everyone else. And if she does, pushing her the other way wouldn't help, would it? Look, Nick. The point is that I know what I need. And she's the one who has it. So you want her for what she has, but not for her? That's cold, man. I just hope you know what you're doing. I do. I think you're wrong, though. People aren't that typical. Everyone's unique in some way. That's just what grandma tells you. Wait, so this guy's some kind of human hogging hipster? That's sort of disturbing. 
you know, sometimes I want to slap our clients upside the head. It's, it's high school. Everyone's a bastard. But hey, welcome to the club. Wait, so this is what he told her about at the cliff? I suppose so. She then went cuckoo and began to make those creepy rabbits, right? Because he confessed this from who knows how long ago? I guess she's pretty good at holding a grudge. I'm not buying it. Something feels missing. Then go get a hat, Sherlock. Come on, I think our passport leaning against the table there. Interesting, interesting. Very, very interesting. I'm envious that this kid is still there to help him move piano when their hair grew, grew, grew white. Oh, I wish I was still in contact with my childhood friends. That, that is pretty true. Nicholas has been there all his life. Reasons and intents aside, it's pretty remarkable that they actually met in high school. How many of those go on for more than a month nowadays, anyway? I don't know about you, but mine went pretty swimmingly. Yeah? So swimmingly, it swam right out the window. Oh, snap! Sounds about right. I just love how every time we see this thing, we're guaranteed to... <laughs> we're guaranteed a free memory link. That is right. It must have left as big of a scar on his mind as it did on mine. Okay. Okay, three more. Should I even? No need. I'm all good now. Oh, for walnut's sake. Hame! Hey! Not cool, Eva. You never... Oh, yeah. You never bleep block someone in the middle of a Kamehameha? What? <laughs> yeah, Eva. That was not nice. Alright. When in doubt. Yep. Yeah. It always works. Uh yeah. There we go. a very loud clock. I'm going to school now, Ma. Have a nice day, Joey. My baby boy, growing up so fast. a girl. Would she still nickname him after his grandpa? It wouldn't be that bad, actually, since it ends with an E. Joey, Jui, Julie. Sounds cute. Uh, if it sounds so cute, why don't you marry him? Ah, jealous. Oh, yes. So jealous. So jealous. Let's go. Well, to be fair, a ticking clock is pretty annoying indeed. Yes, it is. Uh, quite. Let's check out his room. That's a very, very big garbage bin. He has a bunk bed. Does he have a brother? Okay, we found the ball. And let's find the rest of the memories. 
Oh, pickled olives, yes. Oh, blend not again. Oh, oh, holy crap, my mind's totally blown. You're pretty easily impressed. <laughs> pickled cucumbers. Very nice. At least it's something new. What do we have in here? We got... What is this? What is this big thing? Okay, we need two more. Maybe the mom? No, stove? I'm running out of things. Let's... Come on. Oh, the... Okay. Various books with smudge titles. All right. We got it. You know, in a way, I'm kind of uncomfortable about this. <laughs> I mean, we, you have people going into your memories, right? What if they, you know, they they go into something that you want don't want them to see? What happens then? Uh, and what about this? Do we need a when in doubt do this? Yeah, let's do it. Yes, and now everything looks kind of okay. We got our football. Alrighty. Where, where is it? Here we go. Let's go. Oh. Ah, oh, it smells like roadkill again. Wh where are we? I Eva? What the hell is that? Oh, did his memory got messed up or something? Oh, snap. That's his next memory. Yeah, but why is it going Laputa on us? I don't know, it's just not linking the memories together for construction. Oh, there must be a malfunctioning within the machines. ADG. Uh, again? I thought if the last fix was foolproof for another half a year. I can't believe those idiots in the maintenance department. Look, don't worry. We've already gotten a teenage year saved. We might still be able to do this. Alright, but I ain't telling him about this. As long as we succeed, he doesn't have to know. Oh, snap. Well, I guess this is it. There's nothing we can do here. Ready to finalize before activation? Ladies first. What a shame. I was actually looking forward to it. Oh, so we're going back to the real world now. Hmm. Act 2. Billions of lighthouses stuck at the far end of the sky. Don't disturb them. They might not wake easily, but they need the concentration. And... 
That's all this old fool knows, huh? Sorry, I can't be of more help. Then that have to be enough. Aye. All that's left to do is linking your registered desire to go to the moon to your early memories. Then we'll pull the switch and voila, you'll be on the moon in no time. I have a question. If you can make Lily disappear, that means you can alter this world. Then, can you not simply make things happen and fulfill my wish here and now? That would work if this were your one true set of memories. What do you mean? What is this then? What am I? This is just a copy, a, car a canvas for us to work with, if you will. As for you, you're merely, you're merely an anagram traced from Johnny. Enough to reflect his likeness, but far from complete. All we can do is to prepare this canvas in a logical, consistent way. And then, when we transfer your registered desire to your childhood, the machine will generate your new life, one where the desire dictates your behavior. The results of that would then be written for, to the real John. So you see, even if we satisfy you, you are merely a read-only program. I mean, we could reset you over and over and that's enough. Oh, don't be so sensitive. He's not real, you know. If you truly believe that, why do you even care to explain? I'm just trying to save time. Let's go. Doctor. Is that what I truly am? Oh. Oh, that is so sad. Neil, what's wrong with you? Ah, all of our night's work. Oh, so these are the stuff that we picked up on, uh, when we traveled back. Very nice. Nicely displayed. And then we have the broken memory over there. Did he turn into a fish? What the... At least give me a warning first. What can I say? I like being ahead. <laughs> I'd ask if that's a pun, but I'm afraid you'll say yes. <laughs> Let's do this fast. I feel silly enough in this form as it is. <laughs> All we need to do is pass this desire from the latest memory to the earliest. Uh, let's, okay. Alright. This is... They turned into sperm. This is awesome. This is very, very neat. Okay, what do I do? Oh, uh, line uh, line up two matching mementos on the edges to transfer the register desire. Okay, okay. What do we have? We have flowers and bunny, so let's do the flowers and bunny. Okay. Is that, is that really good enough? Okay, flowers and bunny. Oh no. Okay, what else is in common here? This one has to link the bunny, for sure, because that is the only thing that's in common here. the only thing that's in common here. What about here? You need a paper here. How do I do that? Oh, 
maybe I can. It doesn't have to be on the top. I can be like here. Is that right? That would make sense, right? Yes, that makes sense. Okay, it doesn't have to be on the top. And now we have the plate posh or the. Hey, Eva, check this out. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> oh, this is bad. What's in common with these two? Oh, the books. Okay, the books. Okay, so this one has to be here. And then the bunny has to be... Uh, the bunny has to be there. And this will not make sense. Pull it. Hmm. Can I match this thing though? No, right? No. This puzzle is hard. Okay, the thing in common here is, uh, okay, let's work backwards then. All right. Oh, I thought, uh, oh, I thought you have to link everything together. Okay, I guess not. So I thought I had to make like a whole streamline thing. Anyway. Ding! That's about all of the ones we can work with. Ready to pull the switch? You know me, always ready. Go on, sperm head. Alright, let's go check out what souvenirs he bought back from the moon. The ladies first? Not this time, hon. That's a little too early. Let's enter from a bit further ahead to see the results. Okay, I'm just I just want to check these out. Okay. Huh. I guess this part is still the same. Let's check somewhere else. Let's transfer back to with uh, John and check the other memories. Okay. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Um, let's check this one out first. Can we? Too bad we got a strangler here. No loss. We can do this without him. I know, but feels incomplete. You get to attach. It's going to impede your abilities to do your job. That's rubbish. Don't pin your womanly ways on me. Stupid maintenance department. Can't even fix things properly. Give him some slack. Everyone makes mistakes. I am nosy. I want to touch this. Okay, 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 okay. This guy now. Right? Did I skip one? I hope I didn't skip one. Where am I now? Sheesh! The same thing here as well? Usually there's at least some change. Something isn't right. These memories. They feel more than just having happened again. They are exactly the same. That's impossible. This desire was transferred, was it not? It was. Oh no. Something is going to happen. Let me just double check that I didn't miss anything. Okay. Okay, this isn't right. How could everything be the same? Let's confirm it. We need his last accessible memory.
This is the same setting as his real last accessible memory. I'm not too crazy about where this is going. If this is indeed the same memory, he'll be at the cliff overlooking the lighthouse. Johnny? What a pleasant surprise! We don't get many visitors around here. Deja vu again. My name is Dr. Ever Rosalind, and this is... What? I'm not saying it twice. Dr. Neil Watts. Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life and Generation? Oh, are you two from the agency? How convenient. I've just been thinking of calling you. Lily, get us some tea, please. A Lily? Freeze him, too. Well. Wait here, I'll go send the desire signal again. See if there's any changes. It's transferred successfully for sure. Any changes? Not even a hair. How could this be? Even if his di desire doesn't work alone, why is there no change at all? Perhaps, perhaps, it just needs some provoking to activate. From his early memories? The earliest we can get to. Let's go. Johnny's desire to go to the moon might need some stimulation to be brought up, huh? Well then. Oh, 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 they just changed. Okay. The movie. What the? This wasn't what they said was playing. Oh well. Do you mind, River? No. I like this one. Alright, let's go then. Hopefully that's enough for a ignition. Ig ignition. Wait, where's Neil? Oh, Neil, where are you again? Are you messing up with it? Hey, did you see to the moon? How was it? Ah, it was a bit too pretense for me. I prefer my movies to be, be more je ne sais quoi. Who are you guys? Okay. Okay, maybe he's checking out the movies as well. To the moon, darling. Oh, Henry. <laughs> oh, dear lord, I'm way too tired and hungry to be constructing movies. Yes, I should go see if anything's changed, John. Oh, that was... that was great. Sorry for making you sit through this, buddy. Where are we now? Where are we now? Where is this? Okay, we are back at his old self and nothing has changed. It's all the same. I'll have to try igniting it somewhere else. It's This is ridiculous. L Lily! <laughs> She's like, oh, shut up, old man. All right, all the way back here. See, to the moon. I think I think it has nothing to do with the old guy. It's, it has it has everything to do with um, River. Perhaps something here could work. I don't have time for her right now. Maybe she is the one you need, Rosalind. His whole life, it's about her. So did she throw an encyclopedia in your face, huh? Did she? 
Shut up, dude. What are you guys doing here? It's starting. Let's go. Get a good spot. Let's go get a good spot. Wait. I don't remember that happening. That's probably Neil. Something must have changed. Yeah, Neil. Neil has done something. Maybe. Okay, these guys don't want to talk. Alright. Wait a minute. This isn't a real change. This is... May I have your attention, please? <laughs> As you know, I'm a representative sent from NASA in it's all its glory. And I am here to tell you all about it. Hit it, Timmy! Wow, that was terrible. But I digress. <laughs> Face palm. Anyway, I know that many of you are wondering. What chances do I have of doing something as awesome as adventuring to another realm? To inhale the sweetness of Venus, to swim counterclockwise through the rings of Saturn, or perhaps just chilling at the backside of the moon? Well, here at NASA, we believe that with enough will, everyone has the potential. It could be you. Or you. Or perhaps... You! But I don't want to go to the moon. Then, you're in the... What? Wait, what? Why not? Why should I? I'm happy here on Earth as it is. Well... Don't you want to go there even a little bit? No, why? Not even a teeny bit? Uh, no? Well, as an official NASA recruiter, I shall go over some fact about the moon. To start off, the moon is 4.5 billion years old. And did you know that its surface is as big as Africa? It's true, in fact, if you try to bike around the moon. Also, it takes 1.5247 seconds from light to travel to the moon from here. And if you drive a flying car, it takes 130 days. I knew that. And last but not least, people who go to the moon get rich and famous. And we all know that rich plus famous equals groupies. So, that concludes my presentation. Remember, NASA welcomes any of you, especially if you're a brunette. <laughs> Neil. Oh, Neil. <laughs> you probably turned him off from the moon ever, forever. Well, what do you think? NASA probably wouldn't hire you, but I suppose it was blatant enough for this. Ah, uh, I do try pretty hard. Are you going to see if it worked? Of course! Be right back! I want to see if it worked. Back! Report. Utter failure. <laughs> hey, don't get discouraged. I'm sure there's still things to be done. Such as... Well, we can't afford to finish building this house, Isabel. We can barely afford to pay her. But you can afford Luna Trip Lottery? <laughs> <laughs> if you sell this house, you sure can. Is the diagnosis certain? Yes. In fact, we rarely... Did you know that NASA has excellent healthcare plans? It's true for both of you and your spouse. <laughs> Free pony rides in space! 
Oh, look, a wedding. Good for you. But here's a riddle. Guess where you shall go for the honeymoon? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> River? Oh, Neil. <laughs> Dang it. Glass slippery. Johnny, John, John, John. Oh, what the cucumber? Phew. You know what? This is this just isn't working. It's more than just not working. This is ridiculous. We're freaking professional. I didn't sign up for the job to run around yelling at him like an idiot. You didn't? Look, maybe this lack of sleep is getting to us. Had I known that we'll be an all-nighter, I would have bought coffee. I agree. You should have seen the movie I constructed earlier. What, what movie? Exactly. <laughs> anyway, as valuable as time is here... This just isn't going anywhere like this. Let's uh, take a break until morning. Hopefully Johnny can hang out, hang on until then. I do have some calls to make. doesn't make sense. Why did the machine have no effect? Johnny's registered wish to go to the moon was successfully transferred, yet there wasn't even a trace of him wanting to go to the moon after the transfer. Unless, unless a secondary condition for the desire was changed in the progress, in the process. Only then, with the same desire produced two different outcomes at two different points in time. There's no denying that River played an important role in, through all this. If there's anything that could have caused the core to change, she would be the top suspect. But, out of all things, what exactly caused it? River. Just what... Exactly, did you do? Ah, the sun's rising. We don't have much time left. I wonder if Neil came up with anything. Well, guys, I'm just going to end it here today. And, uh, yeah, next time we're going to see what actually happened. So stay tuned. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. All right, bye.